What's good y'all, it's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So I wanted to show y'all this particular tweet and I think this may be some type of indication of what the Wyatt 6 will be getting into after they uh, finish up their feud with Chad Gable and the Creed Brothers. I'm not sure if it's over with. They did just defeat them on Monday Night Raw. Maybe they have one more match, not sure, but I do think the next potential storyline they may be involved in is uh, with the Judgment Day. Let me pull up this tweet because I want to give the person the proper credit or whatnot. This is by Friendly Wrestling. Make myself a little bit smaller. I think maybe this feud will down the line in the future. I'm guessing he meant to say this will probably happen down the line in the future. That is the Wyatt family versus this new version of of the judgment day and i decided to quote tweet the post i can actually i can actually see this happening after the terror twins get done with them i can see the y family going after judgment day because they don't like people that betray their families and here's the thing here's the thing i think this could be the next route that they go I do feel like this new version of the Wyatt family, I don't think they're going to be involved in championship matches right now, nor should they. I think they need to be focusing on their objectives, which is ridding the WWE of people that betray their family. One of the reasons why they target Chad Gable was because he betrayed Alpha Academy and they made it very clear they don't like people that betray their family. And I think this is a perfect setup with this new version of De Judgment Day because essentially they betrayed Rhea and um, and uh, Damian Priest. Now, obviously, Liv is not in that you know situation, but she would be guilty by association because of her involvement. She originally wasn't part of Judgment Day. Now she is, you know, uh, Dominic is it makes sense Finn Balor it makes sense JD Carlito was kind of there but it makes sense because they're all part of Judgment Day and I like that the Wyatt Wyatt Six they're all about taking out people that they feel are disloyal to those who have helped them now I do see Rhea and um and Damian Priest at some point getting the revenge on Judgment Day. And I can see a situation where maybe, you know, right towards the end of their feud, um, them getting revenge on the Judgment Day, I can see that's when the Y6 is going to start focusing on them. They may start releasing vignettes, of, and these vignettes may actually align with who's going to be their next victims. They're not going to outwardly say it. It'll be more of those things where people will kind of be able to read between the lines. Like, Uh-oh, this sounds like you saw about Finn Balor or, or, or Dominic Mysterio. And they can just release vignettes or targeting each and every one of these individuals until finally they actually do. So I do think they will allow Rhea, and I do think they will allow Damian Priest to get their revenge and once they get their revenge, I think we get into the uh, the Wyatt family attacking Judgment Day. Because right now, once they get their revenge, once Rhea, the Terra Twins, and Damian Priest get their revenge, I think the next immediate story should be with them. And they can make a, a program out of that only because... They're not going to really have much to do. I do think Liv will be losing her championship, uh, maybe at Bad Blood. And I do feel like uh, Finn and JD, they're going to lose their tag titles because of Damian Priest. So once they lose the titles and the titles are not on any of the Judgment Day members, you can incorporate this. Because once again, I do think having the Wyatt family not be involved in titles right now. They don't need to. They need to just continue building the story, building the mystique with them. They don't even have to be on Monday Night Raw all the time. I don't know if they're done with um, the Creed Brothers and Chad Gable. We'll see. But they don't need to be on Monday Night Raw all the time. I think it is a special need. And I think this is one of those situations where you can do that and it can work. And I think people will be interested because now it's like, uh-oh. 
they've got the attention of the Wyatt family because of what they've done. And I think, of course, some people can say, oh, well, Damian Priest and Rhea, they, they, you know, they weren't always good guys. They, they betrayed those, you know, they, they were a part of the group at one point. Yes. But right now they're baby faces and they recently just got betrayed. So it just makes sense for them to go after the new judgment day once they drop all the titles and that way they'll have something to do for them. So I think this is a pretty good idea. I didn't come up with this. Some of y'all going to be like, oh, Ross got the script. No, this, uh, this originally came from, uh, friendly wrestling i wanted to quote tweet it and i think it would be something that you know down the line relatively soon maybe after bad blood we can get that going and it can be a a fresh feud that they may spark up sometime maybe for war games you know i think war games is going to be definitely involving the bloodline civil war and then you can do something with the wyatt family in judgment day i don't know if you put them in the war games match i don't think it needs that but you can just have this faction versus faction and the story being the wyatts they just don't like people that betray their loved ones they're all about family and not betraying your loved ones so i think that's the, the direction they will go or they should go because i just don't see the judgment day doing anything else after they lose the titles because now it's like they gotta find some other feud to get involved in and i think that would be a good one so i want to get y'all opinion comment down below let me know do y'all like that idea of the judgment day eventually losing the titles the new version of it and then the wyatt family going after them because of all the things that they have done in betraying rhea ripley and betraying damian priest do y'all think that's the route they should go, you know, once they drop the titles? Or do y'all think they should be going in a different direction with the Wyatt family and attacking another group or another individual? Y'all let me know down below. But I appreciate all the love and support y'all have shown on the channel. Road to 150K. Appreciate y'all kicking it with me. See y'all on the next one. Peace.